Now let's look at some of the options on the undo sub palette. And I just use positioning for this example. And I have a, a cube that has an undo history where I just change it, its position around. So I'm just going back in my undos. So it starts there. And if I go forward in my undos, I'm just changing the position. And this could be a sculpt with different, different stages where you have the creature in a position and then you add some horns later on and you have a bunch of undo positions here. And what these options allow you to do is to save some of those positions. The first two buttons allow you to go to the start and that's where you started with your sculpt and the end, which is the last undo position. And you can check the undo history here. So start is the first position and is the last position. Now I can, I can save some positions on these with these switches here so for example I can store this position on A and then for example store this position on B and maybe store this position on C and store this position on D I have the clear all button which will clear all positions and I can also clear a position by pressing a button again. So if I, if for example, this is my D position, I believe. So if I press this D button, then the position is clear and I can use another position for that D button. Now I can't remember which position I used for D, but there we go. This is, this is how it works. Now this A, B and C, D will flip between A and B or C and D. So A, and B. And I can see these two undo positions like that, easy, and C and D. Okay. If, for example, I clear my D position and I press C and D, I press the first time it goes to C position, and then the second time I press undo D position is not set. Okay. So if I set it again, then I can keep doing this. So this will allow you to see a sculpt in different stages using your undo history. And then, for example, if, I'm, if I like this undo position here, I can press new subtool, and this will create a subtool from this position. So if I press new subtool, now I got another a subtool there that was saved. So it's a quite a handy tool to work with your undo history.